Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakadash. I want to send double honors to our elders and apostles, that great millstone that rule well. Peace, love, and citation is always to the hope of the elect, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today. We are the true children of Israel, according to the Holy Bible, and are the only nation of people that have a chance of repentance and salvation of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, which this world calls God through ignorance in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And uh, I was just doing some browsing on the internet, looking at random quotes and sayings, and I came across this, and a lesson sparked. You know, and that, that's how the spirit works, man. When we may be looking at certain things on our phones or on our computers or, you know, wherever, it'll spark a lesson. You know, that's one thing that the Apostle Gabar uh, made mention of years ago, you know, when we went up to uh, went up to New York. And um, he said that, it, hey, you can, anything's a lesson. You know, you see the birds flying by and, and, and um, you see them land and make a nest. That's a lesson. You know, you see any anything that goes on in society, if you're looking at it with a spiritual eye, can become a lesson. Okay? So it says, um, <clears throat> set goals, push yourself, move, don't quit, no excuses. And the goals that we set are always going towards understanding the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai more. Understanding the prophecies. You know, really just getting an understanding of the scriptures in general. You know, and, and continuing to grow. You know, because I had the word grow in the uh, the etymology already um, loaded up. So I'm just going to get that because that's the goal. You know, if we're not in this thing to grow, then what are we in this for? Matter of fact, I get the scripture first in the book of Second um, Peter 3 and 18. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll start at 17. It says, ye therefore beloved, seeing that you know these things before, beware, lest ye also being led away. And uh, and the so like it, at least beware least ye being led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Mashiach. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. That's the goal, to grow in the grace and in the knowledge. That comes from studying. That comes from showing uh, showing due diligence, you know, and and just meditating upon the Lord day and night, man. You know, because if you're not meditating upon the Lord day and night, then you're going to fall off into all types of all types of stuff. As it says, beware least ye being led away with the air of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness. You know, the less you read, the less you're going to seek Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the further you're going to get from Yahweh Hashem Yahushai by not reading, man. You know, this is what brings us closer to the Heavenly Father. All right, about the blood of Yahweh Hashem. Okay, so I want to get this word grow real quick. And um, etymology and Lord willing, this is an edifying video. You know, I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but Lord willing, this is edifying. All right. This is uh, the word grow. It says from old English and grow one of plants to flourish, increase, develop, get bigger. And that is the goal to increase, to get bigger, to develop, you know, and that's that I make mention. And it's very imperative, man. If we're not, we're not studying and reading and digging in the words and getting more familiar with the history, you know, getting more familiar with um, the prophecies. There's no way we're going to increase or develop, you know. We are set up as as iron pillars to um to not only defend Israel, but to, to edify them, man. You know, when I say to defend Israel, those that are without knowledge, those that are um that are not too familiar with the scriptures, they have to be brought back, uh, brought back by way of remembrance. OK. And that's that's the goal to grow, man. You know. So now I want to get back into the scripture that I had before this, in uh, Second Timothy, the second verse. All right, uh, the second chapter and the third verse. Salakia. So <clears throat> it says, "Thou therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Yeah, we're at war, man." All right, right now we're at a spiritual war. You know, we're, we're, we're um, as it says in uh, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, you know, we're, um, I forgot, I'll, I'll grab it, you know, because I don't want to slaughter it. Uh, Ephesians chapter six. And verse, it really starts from verse 10. I'll get it straight to the point. Verse 12 it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood 
but against principalities, against powers, against ru the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So this is the war that we're at right now, man. You know, we're, we're battling the flesh. We're constantly battling the, uh, the wickedness that goes on in this world. You know, the old man tries to creep in. And, and I was t talking to one of the younger brothers, you know, and, and I made mention, you know, to get as far as, you know, get as far away from that old man as you can. You know, as far as cutting off certain things that'll pull you backwards. Okay? We're at, right now, we're in a spiritual war. You know, this thing is, the, hey, the prophecies are escalating. You know, the Yahweh Shem is showing his work throughout the earth, you know, constantly on a daily. You know, he, he had, he's stirring up the spirit of these these um, these um heathens. You know, you, and we see the end of the world coming soon. You know, as it says in Second Peter, the third chapter, it says, um, how should we be, uh, how should we be in all holy conversation and godliness? You know, in this day and time, are we on cruise control because we know that the Heavenly Father is coming back? Or by us knowing the Heavenly Father is coming back? Or sent about to send the son back, are we are we um going harder in the spirit and trying to grow? You know, trying to be found um without blemish, trying to be found acceptable. Okay? So I want to get back into Second Timothy chapter two. And I want to get really towards the end, but um I want to get that point first. Alright, this is the book of Second Timothy. Um in fact I think it's three, Slack here. Second Timothy, <clears throat> yep, chapter three, and I'll start at verse sixteen. The point is in seventeen. <clears throat> it says, "All Scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, showing us how to grow, showing us how to get better, you know, showing us how not to quit, showing us, hey, and and because I'm, I'm going back to this quote, you know, it says, push yourself." We got to push ourselves past limits, man. You know, uh, the, one of the elder brothers here in Nebraska, he said it some years ago. He said, you know, to try to push past your limits. You know, if you've reached a certain limit in your life on in, in a particular area, the next time you're faced with that, try, try to exceed. You know, because you've been at that level before, you want to try to push past that ceiling, man. You know, and it says to move and don't quit. To move and don't quit, man. To keep moving forward. Continue to try to grow. What 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 can I do to please the Heavenly Father? What can I do to grow in the grace of Yahweh Hashem Shai? You know? Am I repenting? Am I praying? You know? Am, am I trying to get better? You know? That, and that's where that, that diligence comes from. That's where that... And really, with that diligence, you have to be sincere. You know? Because you can be diligent in a thing, but that doesn't mean, necessarily make you sincere. You know, you have you have people that that are um, they're very fluent in the fluent in the scriptures. You know, they're 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 constantly um, appearing to grow in the scriptures, but there's a lack of sincerity. You know, which ultimately means there's a lack of faith. You know, when you go into the book of um, Hebrews, uh, I believe eleven and four. You know, my mind if my mind serves me correctly says without faith is impossible to please the most high you know do you believe you know and then it says don't make excuses because those excuses will always slow you down man and you'll become incompetent you'll become hey you'll, you'll start getting lazy you'll start making it you'll start going backwards man you know what does it say um um it's, it tells us to uh give diligence to make our calling and election sure for if we do these things, we should never fall, you know. So making excuses for um for certain obstacles that's in front of you, you know, for it, it, it'll stunt your growth, man. And you eventually fall. You're gonna go backwards. You're gonna return to that vomit, you know. That's why the Most High said He wanted soldiers. He don't want somebody that's gonna give up. Somebody that's gonna half ass uh, uh, train for the battle, man. He wants somebody that's that he's gonna try them. You know, by way of um, adversity, you know, by putting certain obstacles in front of him to see how he's going to react, to see if this man is really worthy. And and that's what we want to be found as worthy, man. You know, because it says in the scriptures, there'll be more, this world is made for many. Um, I mean, this is there many be many there be in this world, um, but for uh, a few will be saved. 
You know, roughly paraphrasing from the book of Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. All right. So, I'm, matter of fact, I'm, I got a scripture here in uh, Sirach 43 and verse 30. It says, when you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can, for even yet will he far exceed. You know, and that's that not quitting, man. When Yahweh Shem Shai is going to always bump it up for you. He's always going to bump it up a level, okay? And, he, and he's going to co constantly try us, man. You know, as, as we continue to grow in this thing, He's going to constantly try us, man, to see if we're going to uh, keep that same integrity or we're going to keep that same sincerity. Are we going to keep that same drive and that ambition? You know, are we going to continue to go forward no matter the straits that we're dealing with, no matter the chastisements that he's putting upon us? OK. We got, you know, it, it says, and when you exalt him, put forth all your strength, you know, and be not weary because hey, this, this world can drag you down, man. This world will fucking drag you down, man. It'll have you weary. You know, that just breathing in this toxic-ass air that we breathe in, you know, that can make you weary. You know, eating these certain foods, that can, you know, it's destroying our bodies day by day. The GMOs, it says we should eat poison and live, but these same things, if we're not um, counteracting it with certain um, with probiotics and um, certain foods that we eat, you know we're 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 gonna become weary. We're gonna we're gonna become, um, we're gonna deteriorate. You know, but it says be not weary, man. We gotta fight through all this shit. You know, you know, you know as the Apostle Gabar said, excuse my Italian. You know, we got we gotta push through everything, man. For you can never go far enough. You know, e even if we you know like the one uh one thing that the Apostle Orion Lob said, you know, said even if we were to do ten videos a day. That's still not enough. If, you know, if, even if we were to, um, if we were to do a hundred videos in a week, that's not enough, man. You know, this is about giving glory to the heavenly Father and showing His work to be true. We're showing that, um, that not everybody with melanin is a um is a piece of shit, man. You know, not everybody is is um docile. We don't have Stockholm syndrome. We know how to uh, um, do what we have to do to move around and how we have to move in this society. You know, we, we know how to do that while maintaining our faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Because a lot of people, a lot of our people don't know how to serve Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai or the Heavenly Father. And uh, um, not put themselves in any type of trouble by moving through Babylon where Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is constantly... Looking as it says, uh, as it says in Peter, as he, he um, roameth about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. That is his goal, you know. And, and we're not ignorant to his devices, and that's by way of uh, um, <laughs> not not making excuses for why we can't study, why we can't do research on on on, on our enemy. All right, all these different things. That we have to do makes us champions, man. You know, and that's what our goal is to make our people champions as well. Pleading for the widow. All right. Defending the fatherless. Our goal is to grow, man. Push past them limits. And if you find if you, if you got a reason why you can't push past them limits, you know, really, let me just say straight up. There's no reason that's good enough. And that's you no know, starting with myself, you know, because this is. This is a, a self-inflicted, uh self-inflicted lesson that no, I'm noticing that as I go on, this is self-inflicted, you know? Because we sometimes we will make excuses, oh, I'm tired, I've been working all day. Ah, oh, my uh, my babies are, my babies are sick, I gotta, you know, all, all that. Look, man, at the end of the day, we're here to seek Yahweh It says in Matthew the sixth chapter. You know, it says, seek the kingdom of the heavenly father, and uh, all these things to be added unto you, you know. You'll be fine if you if you just serve your heart by Shem Shai. He's gonna take care of you if you if you put him first, man. Above everything, above your family, above your above uh, your woman, you know, above all the personal things that you may see to be important in this life. You put your heart by Shem Shai first, all right. And he, guess what? And once once you put your heart by Shem Shai first, and you continue to do so, he'll work with you and you will grow. You'll put you'll be able to exceed your limits. 
You know, you'll be able to, um, you'll, you'll accept challenges that come your way. You know, and it'll make you a better per a better person than your Habashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? So, no, that, that's all I really wanted to get on. It wasn't going to be a long lesson, but um, that quote definitely caught my eye, man. You know, set goals, push yourself, don't move, don't quit, and no excuses. All right? Keep that in mind. We're almost out of this place, and these things are very imperative to remember and to, and to uh, put that energy, all, the en that, all that energy towards the scriptures, man. Towards the ministry, towards growth, towards your how about Shemel Shai. All right? So, with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom.